Well hello everyone and welcome back. We are here today to continue on with Merge Jobs and I believe by now we must be on around part 13. If you're new around here make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and of course leaving the video with a like. This time we are beginning at Join Light Guard where you can access the Paladin Treasure Hunter shop. This is something you've probably been along to before but it's got loads of AC tag gear in it. When I say loads it's pretty much got the gold exalted Paladin set which believe it or not the armour does come with some boosts so it could be something worth checking out if you've never been along here before in the past. Our next map is Join a Portal Maze for the Paradox Portal Merge. This one has got a really nice scythe. Now, I'm just a fan of scythe, so I'm probably slightly biased towards it. There's not overly many items within this shop, but it's one of those things that if you potentially see a particular item here that takes your fancy, maybe you're going to go along and grab it. Join a Portal War, and this one, yet again, we're continuing on with the Paradox items, so they are all kind of similar themed. But you do get these pretty quirky armors, one of which is Free Player. It is a nice greeny color, so that could be worth having a think about. So, join a Sloth. This is part of the Seven Deadly Dragons saga. If you have not done that saga, I'd fully recommend it. It's got some of the best items in the game, in my opinion, and that includes boss drops as well. So, it's one of those places and quest lines. If you've never gone along and done it, it would definitely be worth doing. However, there may not be too many players doing it nowadays so it could be a little bit quiet. Our next map believe it or not is going to be Battle On and this is because you can get the Power Gems merge shop. This is something people probably have glanced past many many times. If you speak to Valencia there is a weekly quest you can do and then you can go along and spend your Power Gems in this shop. The reason I'm showing you this is there are actually some quite nice armors in here. At least that's just my personal opinion on it but if you haven't actually picked up these these are definitely worth it. They're only one Power Gem each most of the items in here. Some of them do require two. There's rainbow gear, literally all sorts. Plenty of animated bits as well in the earlier armors that we were looking at. Our next shop again is something from the past it is the pvp trophy shop very 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 occasionally these pvp shops actually do get updated but as always there are some very nice armors and weapons you're able to grab within here i'm not going to go through every single item in here because i'm sure many of you have seen this shop hundreds of times before but it is part of the game and therefore it does need to be included in this series however if you do want to access it yourself you can just get it off the game menu on the right hand side under the pvp section and this is where they also add in the testing classes as you can see there's pvp testing test for healer at the minute. I believe once the test has been done that just gets taken away from your inventory or something along those rough lines. Anyway, enough about that shop, let us move on. Inside of this weird safey kind of room is where you can access the Pyromancer shop at Join Zan Cave and of course you are able to farm for Pyromancer if you so choose. You will need to complete the quest to get yourself some Sherpu Blaze tokens and if you're also in the market you can get yourself Zan's Flaming Skull which is a particularly cool helm just because it's so quirky but that's my own little thought on it. Join Queen Battle for the Prime Chaos Lord gear. This is really really nice. This has got some really cool items. You can basically get every single Chaos Lord primed up in here if you would like that and as we saw earlier there are the Katanas that you're able to get. The Jewel one's my particular favourite but I'm just a fan of Jewel Katanas. They may not be to your liking but I do think they're worth picking up and quite a few of these armours will definitely be worth it as well. Not so keen on the capes but sometimes if you're making a set you may be after those but it's good to have seen some Chaos gear. Next up, join Queen Rain. We're continuing on this saga for the moment. And as you can see, not quite as many items in this shop. But again, we do have some nice animated bits, some different hairstyles if you'd like some of those. And again, a few capes to finish off with. And then lastly, part of this chain still, we're going to join a Shadow Flame. We can get yourself some Shadow Spire gear. This merge shop is available from a couple different maps. So there's another map as well, but it's just easiest to come along here. And as you can see, there is an undead dragon you can turn yourself into. So that is pretty cool. Join Quibble Hunt and there are some really nice Void Hunt merge items you're able to grab from here including Master Twang's, I don't know, let's call it Darth Maul's lightsaber which as far as I'm aware is not May the 4th tag so you're able to get that all year round if you have missed out on May the 4th by any chance this time around. Join Pirates, this one is for members only, it is Rackham's Pirate Shop. This is one of those again you've probably walked past, most likely because you haven't been able to actually get anything within this shop but it's good to know that it does exist. Join Razor Claw if you'd like some dragony themed items and as you can see it's just a case of levelling up each of your armours as you go through the different phases with them but they do look quite nice by the time you get to the final set however the final one by the looks of it is for members only so that is a bit of a shame. Our next shop is Lord Brenton's one at Join the Rift. This is one of those that you've probably again been along to if you've been doing yourself those forge enhancements. However, if you've never been here and you have managed to get your rep up, there's a load of items that you're able to purchase from here for literally just gold. However, if I was you, I'd just use your slime sigils on the forge enhancement quest because long story short, they are an absolute pain to drop. 
At join a blood tusk, you're able to get some samba armor that is on the dance floor on the troll side, and then join a castle tunnels for our next merge. This is the sanguine one, and as you can see, you can get a Zorback delivery pet. And finally, but certainly not least, join the underground lab. There is the lab gear shop and also a tiny tiny merge one right next to it as well. So, folks, thank you all very much for watching. Please do leave the video a like and of course subscribe, and I'll see you all again for another one incredibly soon. Until next time, have a lovely day.